Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fabulous Trucker channel. I am Fabulous, also known as my real name, Faith. Um, today's video is basically going to be ways that the trucking industry has changed my life. You guys who are returning always know the deal. I always have everything wrote out because I tend to get off track very easily. And those who are actually a first time viewer, I would really appreciate it if you guys went ahead and subscribed and hit the bell because I have been going live a lot more lately and you'll just get notifications for when I do drop new videos, which will hopefully be a lot more. Um, just to get the commercial business out of the way, um, again, guys, I, ladies, I would love for you to subscribe. We are now up to 90, I think 5.6% male and 4.4% female. Now I know a lot of you are like, oh, that's not a lot of females. I know, but considering I was starting out at 100% male, we are making amazing progress. So ladies, please, please, please subscribe. This is at the end of the day geared towards women in the trucking industry. So I would highly appreciate it if we could create this kind of community for everyone. As you can see, I'm actually at home. I'm on home time, still working with the YouTube. Um, so it might be a little echoey in here. I am in a very large empty room of my house. I do have this mic, so hopefully it's helping with the sound. I'm not sure. One other thing that I wanted to go ahead and show you guys is a sweatshirt. FAB. Guys, look, I know a lot of you don't know this, but, um, I was a manual screen printer for four years. I made this myself. It has the same thing on the back, except a lot bigger. So that's all I'm going to say. Maybe we'll be making some more, um, fabulous apparel here going forward, but that's enough of the commercials. I will say I did, um, get these super chats up. So when I go live, which will be probably once to twice a week. You guys are more than welcome to Super Chat now and I will be looking for people to um, not monetize. Oh my goodness. Anyway, lost my train of thought. We're gonna jump into this because I know I talk way too much and you guys keep telling me that, but yeah. Anyway, so again, this video is going to be ways that the trucking industry, just being in it and honestly around it, has changed my life for the better. And I'm going to throw a little bit of negatives in there. You guys all know I strive to be positive throughout everything, but with everything, there are some negatives as long as you look at them like they are going to eventually be positive. Okay. Okay. So I got my paper down here, so I'm sorry if I'm not looking straight into the camera. <laughs> The first thing and the biggest thing that has changed since I've been in the industry is financial stability. Now, just to give you a little background, I was again, a manual screen printer. I lived by myself. You know, I had everything to take care of between car note, um, you know, rent, electricity, all that grown up stuff. I was on my own. I was living paycheck to paycheck. As soon as I entered the industry about, I'd say two months into it, two, uh, two months into it, everything has changed. I am no longer living paycheck to paycheck. I was able to pay off all my debt with the exception of my new car note. Yes, I did do the rookie, you know, type thing of going and buying a new car. But when I tell you my old car was having, um, my turbo went out, my catalytic converter went out. Literally when you turn the car off, it would keep running. So I needed a new car. So it has allowed me to, you know, not only save money, it has also started teaching me about investments. Now I am learning, hey, why can't my money make money? You know, savings account, it doesn't um, acquire enough interest. So what else is out there? So along with financial stability has also allowed me to open my eyes into seeing that there is a possibility that I can make my money make money and passive income, boom. So all of that has happened. Um, I'm now better to prepare myself for future assets that I do want to own. So now, you know, instead of thinking of the right nows of my financials, it is more of five, 10 years in the future where I want to be, if I want to buy a house, if I want to do this, buy land, you know, um, real estate, all of that kind of stuff. So it has opened so many doors financially and honestly, it has taken a huge stress off of me. I'm no longer worried about money. Now, when I say that, you know, I'm not saying that I'm making a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars. You know, 
a year. No, it's about your basic rookie stuff, but I'm still making about double what I used to make. So obviously that has freed up a lot of financial stress on me. And that is the biggest, biggest, biggest plus side to being in the trucking industry. Another big one that I've noticed that it has changed is discipline. Now, discipline is hard and I understand that and still there are times that I am not very good at it at all and this industry has taught me that it takes incredible discipline to actually make it in this world that we call the trucking industry. Um, basically, once your CDL is obtained, you have to have a certain amount of discipline to make it and to actually keep your commercial driver's license. Because at the end of the day, now you have to worry about who's in your car, what's in your car. They can pretty much search your car at any time, random drug tests. So you have to be disciplined on all that. You have to be disciplined enough to tell yourself, I need to be in the truck in 12 hours. I probably shouldn't have any alcohol or, you know, uh, goodness, y'all know how I get. Even with drugs and everyone comes from different backgrounds, you know, different pasts, even the discipline of just not doing drugs. Um, there's a lot of temptation out there, guys. I will put this out there. I've never struggled with that problem, but it is a serious problem, especially in this industry. There are ways around drug tests. And for those of you who don't do drugs, which is amazing, it takes a certain amount of discipline to not even just say no, but to, you know, say no to the temptation. There's nothing wrong with temptation behind it as long as you don't give into it. So that's another big one is discipline, discipline, discipline. Um, another part of discipline would be being available. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm touching the mic. Let me stop. Um, being available and being on time. That's another part of discipline. Sometimes you're going to have to sacrifice, you know, some home time, sacrifice some honey boo time in order to get back in the truck and make appointments. Because at the end of the day, we make our money by the mile and not by sitting at home with our little honey boos doing whatever they do, which we all know what y'all do. Y'all. <laughs> um, another big one's health habits. Now, this is one of the biggest, 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 biggest problems in this industry as a whole. And I'm trying not to crumple this paper so loud. And for some reason, it's not as widely talked about. Everyone wants to know about how do I make more money? How do I get a new truck? How do I move, uh, do this? What about reefer? What about this? What about that? A big thing that you guys should be worried about is health because that is one of the fastest things that's going to deteriorate while you're on the road. And you're not even going to realize it. It's going to hit you like that. And next thing you know, you're going to be like, how, why don't my pants fit? Why is my sweatshirt tight? Why does my neck barely fit in this sweatshirt? And it's all of a sudden you're gonna be like, wow, like looking back at pictures when you first got your CDL saying, dang, like I've put on some weight. So one of the biggest things that just made me realize how important health is, um, obviously to keep our medical cards, we have to fit a certain criteria to keep it, to even keep our CDL. So with saying that, I don't understand why this isn't a more widely talked about topic. And it has made me realize how, you know, people don't necessarily think about the consequences of being over the road. We're setting for 11 hours, we're not eating the right foods, yada, yada, yada. So this industry is really brought to the attention of not only how this country, like, you know, countrywide is around food, but just especially in the industry itself, it's, it's crazy how, you know, they basically advertise to us McDonald's, Chester's Chicken, um, Popeye's, Burger King, and it's like, why don't you throw, you know, maybe a Chipotle or maybe a salad bar in truck stops? I don't know, healthier options, but um, basically it's changed the way I look at food. And to give you guys a little background, I am a person who has a very unhealthy relationship around food in general. In this industry, this job, this career has really made me realize how unhealthy it has been. Um, I've always been a bigger person. You know, when I was a kid, I was basically classified obese for my height and weight. Ever since I can remember, I've been chunky. And, you know, as I've grown into adult, yes, it's kind of shifted into the areas that I want it to, but still... I'm overweight, 
and if I don't get it together this could go even worse and I could be right back into that obese category. Um, so it has really taught me to look at food not as pleasure but food as nutrition. So what does my body need? What is my body lacking right now? Um, it has really taught me about you know calorie deficits and stuff like that. So it's made me really think about my relationship with food. Um, as a, I'm not even going to say as a woman because it's not even a woman thing. And that's very stereotypical, stereotypical of me. Hold on, need a sip of water. Delicious. See, even drinking water, wow, on home time. Um, it has made me realize that this is a very big problem with a lot of people because I eat when I feel anything. If I'm tired, I know that eating sugary candy is going to hype me up. I know dr grabbing a monster or a Red Bull is going to really make me finish the rest of my shift strong and then it's going to make me crash and go to sleep. So why wouldn't I do it? Well, let's see, for health reasons. Um, and it's so easy to grab junk food and I've realized that that's how, why I gained you know, the weight I did in the eight months that I've been in this industry is because I was eating out of boredom, I was eating out of my emotions, I was eating out of just anything, any excuse I could get to eat, I was eating. And I was going to sleep. So it has really put into check of, hey, you really need to pay attention what you eat you know, how you eat it and when you eat it. So that's one of the biggest things that has changed. And I'm actually down 10 pounds from the 20 that I've gained. So we're getting there. Um, but it is what it is. So that's the health aspect of it. And another big thing that has changed or made me come to realize more is emotions and my anxiety. So another little bit of my background for you guys is I have struggled with anxiety for the past couple of years. Um, even as a kid, I struggled with it. I just didn't realize it was anxiety. I didn't realize it was actually a thing. I just thought it was kind of an abnormal child who worried about everything. But it has taught me how to deal with these in a healthier way. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to process everything and learn why I have certain emotions and why my anxiety comes from you know what it does but it has made me realize like how bad it actually is now when i first stepped into the truck you know i'd get anxiety over people not answering phone calls people not answering texts you know where am i going next what if this what if that and it has taught me hey honestly live life by the mile that's all we can do we get paid by the mile we live life by the mile and it's kind of messed up to say but it's it's the truth and i have learned so greatly how to lessen all of these feelings and I'm not saying I'm pushing them to the back I'm saying I am better dealing with them so they don't come out as strongly when I feel anxiety coming on I tell myself look everything's gonna you know work out things are what they are and whatever I'm worried about probably isn't the case anyway um, and I know those of you are saying oh it's not really good to have anxiety when you're a truck driver a lot of truck drivers do have anxiety they just don't exactly know that that's what it is um, there are so many different, um, I guess, I wouldn't say symptoms, but there's so, anxiety looks like so many different things. It's not all crawling, you know, in the fetal position and crying. No, anxiety can be nail biting. Anxiety can be lip picking, which was my biggest thing, um, which is why I do wear nails because I can't really pick my lips as often. Um, it, it's a variety of things and I would just get anxiety just for the simple fact of stupid stuff. So I've learned to deal with that. Now I don't have anxiety like really at all unless something really terrible happens. And when it does, I know I know how to get out of it. So that'll be a separate video. I know I'm going to probably go live later and just kind of talk about these things because I know a lot of you are going to probably be in my comments kind of bashing the fact that I'm a truck driver and have, have anxiety, but it is a part of this industry and it is what it is. I tell you guys the things I tell you to help others. I'm okay with putting my life out there for that simple fact. I don't put it out there for any, you know, sympathy. I don't put it out there because I think it's cool. I put it out there because personally I think I can help somebody and that's that. So if you guys want to give me crap for that, you're more than welcome to, but I'm just trying to make this industry a better place. Along the lines of that, it has toughened me up as a person. 
Um, when I came into this industry, I was soft, and that is one of the biggest reasons why a lot of people told me I'd never make it. First of all, here I am. And second of all, I think this industry needs a little more softness to it. Now, what I mean by toughing me up, it has taught me that, hey, life's tough, baby girl, step it up. Um, it has also taught me things, you know, just deal with your emotions. Stop trying to numb yourself. Deal with it. Um, people are going to be rude. It's a part of life. Deal with it. So I do have that hardness to me where I don't take everything personal anymore. And that is one of the biggest things that I know if you guys are returning uh, people of this channel, you guys have seen DJ on here. Shout out to DJ. Um, hopefully we can get him back on the channel soon. But he's really the one who has really implemented that into my life saying, look kid, you know, toughen up. Your softness and your kind heartedness is amazing and this world needs more of it. But right now you're going to have to stop taking everything personal. And I did. Now, to everyone, especially the ladies who I get a lot of comments from saying, hey, I'm emotional, I'm a really soft person, it's okay. Come into this industry anyway because you're fine. I promise. I am the most sensitive person that I know and I'm just fine. Do I get my feelings hurt? Sometimes. But I know how to live through it. I'm sorry guys, this is on my laptop. I'm trying to keep it awake. Um, Another thing is meeting new people. This industry has made me meet so many new people, good or bad. It has, you know, kind of had me really learn about different backgrounds and different part of life. And I've met people with backgrounds completely opposite of mine and we get along to the greatest extent. And it is amazing because I've learned that personally I can get along with anyone I want to. So that's awesome and with meeting new people it has opened new opportunities so you know with meeting all these new people I get you know business cards I get to talk to people I get to pick their brain I get to learn so much information and that is one of the biggest positives I would say in general and yeah I'm reading off my handy dandy script it's just points um, and again, I spoke on open new opportunities, YouTube being one of them, which is one of the things I'm most thankful for that I actually started in this, you know, career of mine. I never thought I'd be to the, you know, to the point where I am now. So it's really awesome to go back, uh, not even a year ago and see I started with zero subscribers and now we're 3.3 K. And again, just a quick thank you to everyone. You guys are amazing. You guys keep it fun. You guys keep me loving what I do. So thank you. Um, you know, and it's helping. Oh, and it's open new opportunities for me to help and teach others. I've always wanted to help. You know, I've thought about being in the Navy, the Air Force, some part of the military. I have thought about, you know, being a doctor, doing this, doing that, a lawyer. I just wanted to help people. And when I first entered doing this, I was kind of like, well, I'm not helping people, but I am. I'm helping people by giving them the goods that they need by delivering them, but I'm also helping them with my YouTube. So it's amazing. And you know, I don't know how many people my YouTube is helping, but if I can help one person out of millions, that is going to be good enough for me because I believe that my life calling is helping others. Um, that's really all that I can think about. And that's really all that I had wrote. That was really the things that popped for me of, you know, how this industry changed, you know, my life, but there are some negatives and I only wrote a couple down because again, I always like to look at the positives. One of the big negatives is seeing how disrespectful and mean people can be. Now, this also comes with just life. I am a ripe 23 years old, so I hadn't really been, I haven't really been out there in the world. So, you know, going to all these different places and realizing, wow, like people act really nasty towards each other. It was, it was just a slap in the face, which is called life. So it did kind of teach me, hey, life can be cruel. Life can be messed up, but it's life. So that's one of the biggest things. Um, one of the other negatives that I feel like has changed, I am becoming an introvert. I used to always be an extrovert. I used to always like going out, being around people. Now I'd much rather be at home by myself. Um, I'd much rather enjoy my own company and just relax. So I find that as a negative because it's a weird shift in my life because I've always known my personality as being an extrovert. Now, not always ne uh, negative because it probably saves me from some trouble, but you know, hey. Um, the only other like negatives I can really think of is the weight gain and health things, but I am getting it under control now. So I'm looking at it as a positive as saying, hey, you really need to teach yourself again how to eat right and be right. 
Um, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope this video is going to help someone. That's really all that I have for you. And I think I'm actually going to go live as soon as I post this, but you guys will be seeing this after I go live. So, Hey, um, another thing is if you guys would love, 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 and you guys have no idea how thankful I am. I do have a cash app for the channel. It's the dollar sign F a B O U R N E. If you guys would love to donate to that, Hey, you guys are awesome. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. I'm not forcing anyone. Um, I do actually use all the proceeds between the cash app and now, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, in my YouTube, you know, monies, um, I actually do use it to improve the channel. I'm actually looking at cameras and backdrops and getting this space actually turned into more of a studio instead of a rigged empty room with some Christmas lights and a laptop and a little table. But we all start somewhere. So I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel. I want to tell my women out there, you guys are amazing, you can do anything, and I'm here to fully support any of you if you guys need help. And for the men out there, you guys are equally as amazing. I equally will support you. And please, everyone, both men and women, please be safe out there. Keep it between the lines and keep it out of the ditches. I will see you guys later. And thank you all for being here. And thank you for watching my videos. Thanks, guys.